Well, it makes you a little bit scared of the kitchen now. Hey guys, this is another retro review of Supernatural Season 1 with episode Home. Yeah, I know I'm a little bit behind. Holy crap, guys, it's been four months since I reviewed Hookman. I, I'm really slow at this. I know I'm a little late with this, considering how the last one ended. Give me your thoughts in the comments below about what you think, and I'll try and say some of them in the review for the next episode. Whenever I get around to that. Whenever I get around to that. Whenever, 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 whenever I get around to that. This is episode 9, otherwise known as Home. I remember this being a real standout episode, particularly for the character of Missouri, who, in fact, never returned until... Just recently, with episode 3 of season 13, and then they killed her. Missouri was actually a really good character. She at first appears as one of those fake uh, telepaths, and then she has this line, people come here for good news, not the truth, and that's a great part of her character. Missouri had a great sense of wisdom and humor in her character, and she's Got some really funny lines. One line that was mentioned in the comments for the bug episode by Ramanan goes as, Pull you put your foot on the coffee table, I'm gonna whip you with a spoon. I didn't do anything. Not yet, but you were thinking about it. Home is by far the best episode of the early seasons. Now admittedly I was on the same thought process. Since I hadn't seen the episode in a long time, I still had it at a really high standard. And in fact it still is at a high standard. However, there's a few things that just haven't aged well. For instance, the horror in this episode is more comical than anything else. At one point, Sam Winchester is almost killed by a lamp electrical cord. The man who defeated Lucifer is almost killed by a cord. Certain aspects of it are still pretty good. The characters, the idea of Mary being a ghost a vengeful protective ghost in this episode taking on the poltergeist. By the way, this episode has a crap ton of poltergeist the film references. However, this episode does have a few inconsistencies with its story, mainly with Missouri, because at one point they feel that they have cleansed the house, right? They do this uh, act of like kicking in the walls and putting in charms to expel the poltergeist, and Missouri's like, yep, it's all good. Yeah, totally. This woman who's been doing this for all of her known life somehow fucks up, whereas Sam, who is still trying to understand his powers, knows more about this house than she does. Now, obviously, he has a connection with the house. He was born there, his mother died there, and all this other stuff, but it's more so just this MacGuffin that's thrown into the story so the climax can happen. That's why it's there. It's not really discernible. And also, something, I think this is more so being soured now by season 13, but this is a pretty pivotal moment of the past for the boys with their mother. She saves them as a ghost, and they never brought that shit up once in season 13. This was a huge element. Something that could have just been talked about in passing conversation, and they didn't even frickin' talk about it. But Home is still a good episode. It's just not a pinnacle episode as I remember it being. As I've said before, you guys can put in comments about the next episode that I would eventually review, this being four months later. But I have one other comment to mention. Unicorn Con 379 Home was one of my favorite episodes of the season. Missouri was supposed to come back at the end, but the actress was busy with another project, so they created Bobby. Also, I liked getting more into Sam's powers and Mary's apologizing was a foreshadowing because I think season four is when we finally found out why Mary said sorry to Sam in this episode. Dean's reaction to Sam's powers are also interesting. And yes, I'll admit that, that was actually pretty cool, the sorry being a foreshadowing for something that wouldn't happen for seasons to come. And that's something that the first five seasons of Supernatural did fantastic. For instance, there's events that happen in season one and season two that you don't find out what the real meaning to those events were until season four, and that's what I liked so much about that, that foreshadowing, that leaving until later on. Very much like how Buffy uh, was structured. So in the end, my rating for Home is not going to be as high as some people will think, but it's still, I feel, a decent episode, just not a standout one that we've had for, or we've thought of for this time. So I'm going to give it a four out of seven. Anyways guys, I hope you liked this review. Obviously Asylum is coming up next, so if you want, leave your comments about that episode in the, down below, and I'll read some of those off when I eventually do the review for Asylum. Now note that I will be much more on top of wanting to get that review done, because the following episode, Scarecrow, is a pretty cool episode because I know exactly where they filmed it. 
and I've gone past this area many times before, so I'll probably do a little bit of video there when I get to that episode. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this review. If you did, leave a like. If you're interested in more retro Supernatural as well as new Supernatural reviews, maybe subscribe. Anyways, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time.